I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Edgewood. Today is November 8, 2024. The newest edition of On the Edge newsletter has been released. Head to the EHS Student Google Classroom and give it a read. We've got some more exciting things to talk about, so let's get right into it. We are having Buckeye Stromboli with marinara sauce, a fall salad mix, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes and dip, assorted fruit juice, and fresh fruit. For students who need to have their yearbook photo taken or need a picture retake, Pastor Photography will be here again Thursday, November 14th. ATEC students who need their photo taken should make arrangements in the office. For anyone looking to get a copy of last year's yearbook, please contact Ms. Fisher in the library or send her an email for more information. On Wednesday, November 20th, the EHS Counseling Department is holding a financial aid work session during the flex period. Any senior who would like help creating their FSA ID and filling out the FAFSA application, please sign up with your guidance counselor by email or fill out the form emailed to you by Ms. Izzy. A reminder to any senior who plans to take the ACT on December 14th, today is the last day to sign up. Go to act.org to sign up and view other testing dates. You can find all of this information and more in the EHS Students Google Classroom. The conference were released last week for the first quarter. If you would like to raise your grade and need more assistance, Mrs. Wenzel is a tutor who is available to any student who needs help in English, Science, History, or working on a project. Stop by room 201 or send her an email to get in touch with her. Likewise, you can reach out to our math tutor, Mrs. Poff, if you would like additional help with your math assignments. Fall sports have officially come to an end, and winter sports is upon us. Here's Blake Bay with an Edgewind Sports update. Thanks guys, we will start off this week's show with girls volleyball. Last Thursday, the girls traveled out to the Alliance to play the number one seed Marlington Dukes in the OSHA Regional Semifinals. The Lady Warriors fell to the Dukes three sets to zero. Even though their season sadly came to an end, the Lady Warriors have a lot to be proud of. CBC champions, sectional champions, district champions, and regional qualifiers. Last Saturday, Maddie Crooks represented Edgewood Warriors in the OSHA State Tournament. Maddie Crooks finished 43rd overall. Congratulations, Maddie Crooks, on another amazing season. Tonight, girls basketball has a scrimmage against Fairport Harding at 5 p.m. Tomorrow, boys basketball has a scrimmage at home against the Bray. The Lady Warriors will be at home against Riverside at 11.30 for their second scrimmage of the year. That is this week's sports back to you. Speaking of wrapping up fall sports season, Jason Richmond is checking in with our champion volleyball team. You're joking. Okay. Hi, I'm McKenna. And I'm Leah. And we are Edgewood Volleyball. Yeah. What do you think led to your success this season? I think what led to a, <laughs> I think what led to our success this season was how close of a team we were. It didn't feel like there was any tension between any of our players. It felt like we were a family and we always just got along so well. Um, I would say the same thing and that we'd all push each other to be better and not like I don't know, mess around most of the time at practice. We would, yeah, like to pick each other up and, yeah. Okay, what do you guys think about winning districts? I think that that's pretty amazing. Um, we haven't done that in 30 years. I feel like a lot of effort was put forth and we did um, everything we could to get that title. We actually swept that team. Yeah. Um, we dominated. That's what we were told to do and, <laughs> and we worked together and coach put pressure on us and we knew what had to be done. It's been a rough week for some people this week catching up on their sleep and getting back into a routine. That's because last Sunday was daylight saving time so we changed the clocks by one hour. But even is daylight savings time, like why is it even a thing? Let's learn from Danielle Haynes and Logan Cantona. Daylight savings time. We gained an hour of sleep this Sunday, November 3rd, as clocks fell back. One hour from 2 a.m. to 1 a.m. We keep this hour until March 9th of next year. We will lose an hour of sleep or spring ahead. This is called daylight saving time. Why do we do this? Well, there are a lot of different reasons that states and governments decided to implement this changed over a hundred years ago. Standard time was established by railroads in 1883 and was put into law on March 19th. 
1918. By the Standard Time Act, Daylight Saving Time was also included in this, but was removed from the law in 1919. It was only reestablished again in the U.S. early into World War II. Daylight Saving started from the first Sunday in April to the last Sunday in October. The Energy Policy Act in 2005 changed both dates at the start of 2007 Daylight Saving Time started the second Sunday in March and the first Sunday in November. We have continued this every year since. We asked staff and students at Edgewood what their opinion was on Daylight Savings. So Notar, what is your opinion on Daylight Saving Time? Uh, personally, I like uh, before the clocks are set back in the fall. I like having longer evenings where it's, you get a little bit more daylight in the evening. Um, one, I think you just feel better. You get a lot more accomplished during the day. So, yeah, I would like uh, the way it is throughout the summer. I'd like that year-round. Bidwell, do you think we should keep daylight saving time or should we get rid of it? You know, uh, it's a great question. On days like, you know, Sunday, I really appreciated the extra hour of sleep. That was great. Um, however, I, I do like consistency, and I, I think at this point in time, just based on why it actually originated versus where we're at now in society, I don't think we need it anymore. We should just kind of stay on the same wavelength, in my opinion. But I do like the extra hour of sleep. So at least there's that. So, uh, what's your opinion on daylight savings? Uh, do you think we should get rid of it or keep it? I do not like daylight savings time. I like sleeping, and I just I think we should get rid of it. What's your opinion on daylight savings, and do you think we should keep it or get rid of it? Get rid of it, or keep it permanent. Either way, no time changes. So, what is your opinion on daylight savings, and do you think we should keep it or get rid of it? Keep it. I like this more sleep. Definitely more sleep. So, what is your opinion on daylight savings, and do you think we should keep it or get rid of it? Uh, I think it's a great thing because we can get like extra sleep, or like, like it depends like how we like if we like sleep or not. But I think we should keep it. What do you guys think about um, daylight savings? And do you think we should keep it or get rid of it? Mm, I think we should. I think we should get rid of it. Just it, it causes confusion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think we should get rid of it. Also, I woke up at six thirty today. It's not feeling too good. Yeah, I'm with them. Uh, I'm too lazy to change my clocks back in my house. It would just save me a little. Uh, you know, save me some time. Some states, Florida, Maine, and Alabama just to name a few, have changed or added laws that allow their states to have permanent daylight savings time and the residents voted for this change in an election. Did you know that most places in Hawaii and Arizona do not change their clocks and are always in their elected standard time? It's worth noting that there is little variation between summer and winter for these states. Other states have been trying to propose laws as well against daylight savings time. Looking at standard time and daylight saving time, which do you prefer? Some even think we should just put the time back half an hour permanently instead of changing the clocks in winter to spring. What do you think? Should we keep standard time or daylight saving time? Back to the desk. Happy birthday, November 9th to Anthony Sizing. That'll do it for us today. Thanks for tuning in to another week of EMTV. Be sure to share with other students that they can catch the replay on Edgewood Media's YouTube channel or on the EHS Student Google Classroom. Stay informed, Edgewood.